Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in this further tutorial, we're gonna learn how to load a HTML page from assets folder in your Flutter web view. So let's begin. So here I have a screenshot of my project structure. So you can see there are three pages that is index pages, HTML, uh, CSS file and a JavaScript to load this uh, project. So this is my Flutter app. So it is just a video. So you can see there is a radio button which change the background color. So let's learn how to do it in your Flutter app. So let's begin with the tutorial. Okay, so now we are in our Android Studio and I have already created a new Flutter project in my Android Studio IDE and named it as WebView Plus. Okay, and in main.dat page for now we simply have an empty container. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, so op just open pubspecification.yaml file and you need to add a dependency or a package called as webview flutter plus so just add it and hit this pubget button so this package is been used to load a url or a html pages okay uh, so to use this package there are some configuration to be done so let's do it so in your android part android folder application go to build.vidal file and just verify that you are using minimum sdk version more than 19 so in my case it is 20 i can use this package if in your case it will if, if it is less than 19 so just make it 20 or 19 okay so that's it and we need to add some internet permission so let's go to uh, android app resources main android manifest and over here you need to add internet permissions so let's do it uses permission internet access network state and vec lock you need to add these three permissions okay and we must also uh, give access to clear uh, traffic so for that just add this tag okay so now we are done with android part so let's do in ios devices so just open iOS folder runner info pls and over here you need to add some permissions so let's add it okay so you need to add this keys uh, app transport security so if you want this code it is available in my website protocodespoint.com so you can just check the link in the description to get this uh, all codes okay uh, so we are done with the configuration part so let's close all the files okay so let's load a url uh, by making use of this library uh, we will just create a ui part okay so inside body tag we will just load a website by making use of a website url so for that first of all you need to import your package so just import it import web view flutter plus dot dot okay so after importing we can make use of it web view web view plus okay uh, javascript mode javascript mode and restriction and uh, let's load a url of my website so i will just copy a website url so this is the article i have wrote okay so let's restart our app okay so app is getting restarted so you can see it is loading a web page in our uh, flutter app without any code okay so this is just loading uh, the url straight away in our app so let's create a web page in our Flutter project itself locally and try to load in our Flutter app. Okay, so let's begin with that. So first of all, let's create a folder over here, directory, and I will name it as assets. Okay, so inside assets, I will just create one more directory called as website. Okay, so inside web pages, we will just create a file and name it as index.html and for now we will just add a simple html code over here ok 
okay so we have created a index.html page over here so i need to give a permission to our uh, photo project to access this folders so for that just go to pop specification.yaml file and under footer over here there is an assets property so you need to add a assets property over here about your uh, folder so our folder is assets website assets assets website so we are going giving access to use this uh, footer project means sorry the folders co contents to our footer app so after adding that just hit this pop get button okay so now we can access this index.php uh, index.html page so let's use it in our footer project so here just i will just remove this url and instead of that we will just make use of on create controller okay so here controller dot load url and inside this url we are going to pass the path of this directory so the path is assets assets website and the file name that is index.html okay so now let's restart our app again okay so let's check it so you can see the index.html page is been shown in our photo project okay so and that's it uh, so let's create a uh, different pages over here so let's add a css file and javascript file and add this web page in our photo project okay so let's do it so i have already wrote an article on that by step by step process everything is over here so i'm going to use this same to copy paste in our photo project so just for time to saving purpose okay so let's create a file and name it as tells.css and we need a javascript file so let's create it script.js okay so the code is already there in my website i will just uh, take from there so you can see this is our html page so it has two uh, radio buttons to change the background color of our website so this is the css file and this is a javascript what should happen when the user toggles between the radio button so everything is over the, over here so you can just visit our website protocoldespoint.com so the link will be in the description okay so i will just copy paste the code from my website to our this so i'm just copy pasting so here we have two radio buttons one two and one radio button so javascript sorry the css background color we are initially setting a background color to red okay so let's change it to orange okay and javascript when the button is been pressed we need to change the color so we have created a function over here so this function what it will do is it will accept a parameter that is string the color that the user want to change to and we are just setting it by making use of set attribute style background color and we are setting the color okay okay so now here uh, we are in index.html page so over here we have radio button as i said so it has on click uh, on click we are just calling our javascript file the submit function this method we are calling and this action is been taken to our web page okay so i have added a javascript page over here and this is the css page okay so let's run the code okay so you can see
Okay, so this is our index.html page with by applying our uh, style CSS file that is we have done with the orange. So it has two radio buttons. One is to change it to red and one is to change it to blue. Okay. Okay, so here I need to change the script page. Our code is script.js. Okay, hot refresh. Okay, so initially the background color is orange. So as we have defined over here, and when the user select on the radio button, we are just calling our JavaScript file by passing the color that we need to change. Okay, so here we are just setting the background color to the user selected color. So let's check it. So when I press on the red button, so you can see the background color get changed in the red, blue. So I will just click on the submit button. So background color will get changed to green. Okay, so that's all for this video tutorial. Hope you got the concept of how to load your uh, HTML page from your SS direct thing to your footer code. So thanks for watching. Please do subscribe protocol as point. Thank you.